order fade. I'll edit all this out later on. Okay. All right. Starting in three, two, and go. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Icelian Gaming, bringing you another one v one with a little bit of a twist. First and foremost, we do have our two players, GL Snoot and Empire Happy, spawning here on Core Hall Compound LE. This is the ladder edition, and indeed, this is a ladder game between two top Grand Masters. Our Blue Terran is going to be spawning the top right, the Empire Happy. And a couple of quick things about him, just before we get too far into the game. He is rank 1 Grand Master. Wanted to give him serious props for that. It is hard to be the single best ladder ranked player on the EU. Uh, region server. He's at 906 wins with 200 losses. 81, almost 82% win ratio. That is impressive. This guy knows what he is doing. And man, you see him spam and clicking right there. That SCV is going to have so many rallies after. I wonder what his APM is there. I'm going to go back and see. Uh, he was a formerly a Warcraft 3 professional. Uh, he was actually called the best Warcraft 3 player to come out of Russia. He is Russian. Played Undead. And he was third and fourth across multiple world cyber games. There, that SCV is spazzing out before getting that barracks down. Uh, he went to BlizzCon, he was the Electronic Sports World Cup, and he used to be on Evil Geniuses, obviously, now he is on Team Empire. He likes to complete, compete in a lot of online tournaments, and indeed, we can see he certainly enjoys his ladder games as well. Now, the big fancy thing about this game is going to be that I'm being joined by my good friend Cartesian, who is going Hello. to be uh, casting alongside me. Hello there, Cart. And Hello, he is everyone. going to be talking to us about our uh, Zerg player spawning here in the bottom left who just dropped his expansion. Yeah, GL Snoot is a relative newcomer to the, the pro scene in StarCraft 2. Um, really just started doing tournaments at the end of uh, 2011. Just kind of doing some of the, the online tournaments and the weekly cups and that sort of thing. But uh, he's been consistently strong, first or second in most of them that he's been in. And, uh, you know, just started playing a few of the, the LAN tournaments now. And he's also a, a very high-ranked Grandmaster, win rate of uh, a little better than 2 to 1. 370 wins and 164 losses, so he's he's pretty up there too as a Zerg. With both of these players being so high on the ladder and this being a ladder game, it's going to be, I am expecting, a whole lot of fun coming in. Now, we do have a Bunker Rush coming into the back here, probably going to be just tough to wait. Now, this is actually a great spot. Um, this is like, it's like a perfect position for a Bunker to be dropped down. No, oh, it really is. That SCV is, is hard to hit. No kidding, and, and you can get good angles all around but uh, you could funnel Marines in right next to the geyser where that one drone is. You could funnel them around between the other two. But so this is going to be, yeah, insta-salvage right away. Um, now, Happy has taken one gas up as I lag up a little bit here. Oh, he there's is... another bunker going down. Oh, there is, sure enough, right in the back. He really wants to get this through, but with all those drones on there, I don't think he'll be able to get it at all, even with that Marine coming forward. Did get the cancel off. Did not get the SCV sent home though, and this Marine needs the SCV booking it out of there. And here come the Zerglings. We've got a reactor going down on the barracks, so we are going to see some reactor to Hellions coming out. Very, very standard opening, especially in TVZ. And we don't see a second gas, so I don't think this is going to be a 1 1 1, unless he's going to be sort of doing a, a Slayer style elevator play, where he, he just, you know, pumps out a medevac, and this can be a very good map for it especially right up the top near uh, Snoot's base. There's some great spots to drop the medevac. Yeah, he's dropping a second factory now, though. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. That is, and he moves that barracks so far to the back, he's definitely going to be using it just for an add-on, so maybe he's just going for a straight-up tech play. I was expecting just... maybe more of a 1-1-1. Oh, wow, another reactor. So we'll be seeing quad hellions. Ooh, four coming out at once. That is definitely not something... Oh, it's the first set of Hellions comes out. Bam, goes the roast circling. Spine crawler down here at the front is going to be good to go, and we have a second one. There it is. Noah Roachworn going down to help uh, create that wall off. I love, 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 love that Snoot has gotten three queens, and I talk about this all the time with Zerg players. Oh my gosh, get a third queen. Wow, he's even got four out. He does not want any Banshees coming in. But his creep spread is going to be fantastic. We are going to have this entire map covered in creep by the 15 minute mark. And that is something that every Zerg wants to be. There we go. There's the four Hellions in production. Yep. The second pair just starting there is the 
one set comes out and rallies down. A tech live going down onto this barracks, and I wonder if we're going to see a factory thrown down next to it. As the first four Hellions come in. Oh, the drones oh, lining wow. up perfectly. Oh, almost could burn some. Actually, not a whole lot. Pretty good splits happening there. Snoot being pretty effective about uh, how many drones he's lost. He's actually lost 13. So he, they got one pretty good volley off, but uh, didn't take out all of them. No, it could have been much, much worse, especially just the way that they lined up is, is always so, so terrible, and that was a lot more than I thought it was. I, I thought that he didn't lose nearly as many as 13, but man, it is just... They, when they line up so perfectly, every Zerg player is just thinking, no, 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 and every Terran player is thinking, yes, 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 get it! Be so oh, yeah, much. The, oh, the five or five six more. Hellions, that's enough to one-shot a drone. Here they come in. Oh, more than enough. Burning a few more down there. More and more dying, dying, dying. Even one Queen already getting low on health. As the six Hellions just waltz their way up into here. All the drones pulling out, all lining up. Oh, this is so perfect if they can get some good shots off. Oh, roasting more and more and more drones as they make their way down to the natural. Plus, he gets full scouting. He sees he had, there's no second gas in the, the main. He knows there's no gas in the natural. And right now, all there is is a bunch of zerglings, not even roaches being made, despite the fact that he has the gas for it. Yeah, and uh, Happy's already got some marauders with stim on the way, so he's ready for that roach transition when it does come. Even going, those roaches can be superbly effective against spine crawlers, against the queens, both of which are considered armored. And stim marauders, as we know, are blatantly overpowered, according to everybody <laughs> who doesn't play Terran. Oh man, they uh, they have some pretty quick movement speed when they're stimmed. Oh, and the attack speed as well. Crazy, crazy good. Now, four Hellions moving out here. Probably going to go ahead and roast these Zerglings out. Shame that these Zerglings are going to be mostly wasted. They might be able to take a Hellion with them, but really good control here by Happy. Remarkable. Is this one Hellion going? Ooh, just gets that one. Yeah, but it wasn't quite an even trade, though. That was a lot of Zerglings for one Hellion. Exactly what I was thinking. They they moved up thinking they could get some scouting or even a run by, but it just wasn't the case. Too quick on the supply depots. And we do have some Roaches out. No sign of, a, of an expansion coming in for Happy. Actually, he is really content with this one base play. Yeah, he's he's really pu uh, putting a lot of pressure on with this one base. Two factories and three barracks. I didn't even think he could support nearly that, but you know what? There's a reason this guy is number one grandmaster. Yeah, mules are pretty good. <laughs> now, as the Marauders and the Hellions do move up here, the Hellions pushing forward slowly, carefully, maybe going to get a scan in. Keeping an eye out, I have the orbital command targeted. It's just about to approach 50 mules. Oh, and all four queens moving out here to try to meet four spine crawlers. That's going to be so hard to break. Now we have the 50 energy. There goes the scan right away. That's all he was waiting for. Push back that's a, all that that's a lot of units. That is a ton. How many? We have 12 Marauders and 13 Hellions. Oh, there's the stem. The push forward. Good transfuse is going down. Oh, that's going to make the absolute difference in this play. Zerglings being burned right away, though. They don't do any damage at all. See if some more good transfuses. Saving both the queens there. Not quite enough, though, as the pressure does continue to pour in. One spine crawler has gone down. There goes the second. Yet another queen was produced and pushed right out to the front. Zerglings, roaches, queens all pushing forward, but they can't stand the concussive shots from the marauders. Almost all the Hellions are down, though, and that means the Zerglings are going to be very, very powerful without some good control, which Happy, of course, does have. He's got a lot of low health marauders, but they're still doing their full damage. Indeed. Even another spine crawler being thrown in the back, I wouldn't be surprised to see that reposition a bit closer to the front. More Zerglings and Roaches come out, and this almost feels like an all-in from Happy. He still hasn't expanded behind this. He is making SCVs now, but there's still no expansion in production. And the Roach Warren is getting poked and prodded here with some pressure. Oh, and another stem going down, and sure enough, those Marauders now are in the red. One poke kills one instantly. Now more Hellions coming in here, burning at the Zerglings. The Queen's picking in from the back. This is going to get pushed back, and this defense is going to hold... It's still pretty close. Oh, happy feeding more and more reinforcements right up to the front. Now have seven Hellions on the field along with eight Marauders. Looks like two of each of those haven't quite made it to the front lines yet. So I watched the mini map and they are moving down as fast as they can. But now Interesting you know, thing. 
is that Snoot is actually droning behind this, so he has great confidence in his ability to hold this, because he's actually not just spamming units here. That's true. That's very true. And we, in fact, do have two Banelings out, two more on the way. And level 1 Carapace even being thrown down. I'm not sure how much of a difference that would make. And it's usually more effective against the Marines, because they do lots of light attacks, but the Marauders, the one armor doesn't doesn't help all that much. Strangest thing, I, I'm wondering if Snoot's played Terran recently. Because I just, oh, Queen gets sniped. There goes the Roach Warren. I just saw a drone move up to the Roach Warren uh, when it was about a third health left. Like it was trying to repair. This is very confused. <laughs> well, he's having some uh, some race identification issues. but <laughs> We do need to see something from Happy happen very quickly. Happy needs to make something happen. Yeah, he's really starting to get mined out in his Here main. comes the stem. Here comes the push. Banelings moving forward. That tech being kept mostly hidden until this point, but two, only two spine crawlers left. The Banelings push, landing some good shots against Marauders, not against the Hellions. The Hellions still out in full force. This looks like, oh yes, this is going to be a crushing blow. Many, many Banelings more. Six in, ten Zerglings on the way. Drones being pulled off the line. If Snoot can hold this, he will have it. But if not, this is going to be the killing blow. More Zerglings rushing forward, getting burned by those Hellions. Banelings just finishing the more four roaches on the way. Madness, madness everywhere in the Zerg natural. And this is just a crazy, crazy heavy push. It's 15 minutes and still hasn't taken the second gas. In fact, he's only at 24 harvesters. He is at the absolute optimal amount. Happy is for oh, yeah. one base mining. He he specifically went up to 24 SCVs and stopped. More roaches coming out if he can hold this. Oh, this is going to be a big if for Snoot. Yeah, if he can just hang on until the uh, Terran starts to mine out, which he is. There's only a few mineral patches left. If he can just hang on a little bit longer, he'll have this. Still, only a few roaches out on the field. Five, along with eight Zerglings. The Zerglings pushing forward. He might just have it. He just has to outlast his opponent. Focusing down the Marauders with the roaches. Zerglings streaming forward, trying to get good surrounds. Oh, more Stim Marauders coming in from the back but so many Zerglings out here. They're going to be able to get a pretty good surround in. Roach yeah, is they're... trying to focus down more Banelings, five Banelings being more. It's it's starting to look better and better for Snoot as this goes on. I love that he's making spine crawlers in the back of his base and then moving them forward. Lesser Zergs would push and try to drop their spine crawlers up near the front and then they would get sniped out as soon as they were building, especially by that stem. Here comes one more defensive push from Snoot, telling his happy, telling Happy to get out of here. You are not welcome. You do not make me happy. Pushing him all the way out past the watchtower. Although he might be throwing some units away as he gets off of this creep, catching one Hellion off guard as the Hellion tries to catch the Queen's off guard. Good transfuse, saving that one. Yeah, but the longer this goes, the harder it's going to get because Happy's income has run out and he's actually floating his main to his natural now. Oh man. Sure enough, the huge transfer going on. All those things are going to try to mine and harvest, and then they're going to go, oh, wait, there's nothing. Happy is officially at zero income per minute on both ends. And his opponent, Snoot, just building up behind this. This is a crazy good all-in, but an even crazier, gooder, that's not a word, <laughs> hold. It's, dancing it's back a and very, forth. very good way to show Zerg defense against this Marauder Hellion push fantastic pay. Even the trees catching on fire from all the Hellions pushing in and trying to burn everything. But the Roaches, I love that they're focusing down the Marauders because they know they can take the Hellions, even in such big, large numbers. Focusing down the weakened Hellions as well. Excellent microplay by Snoot. And that Carapace upgrade did show itself on those Roaches. Well, that's true with their plus two Carapace since they have the one baseline and they have the one upgrade. Finally, fending away Empire Happy, waiting for a counterattack to come in. Yes, the Roaches are moving out along the left here. Zerglings following on the right. Oh, Happy has got to throw some bunkers down. He's got to throw it down quick. And here come the Zerglings heading up into the natural. But they're going to get pushed back by some Hellions and Marauders. Poking, prodding. Banelings dancing around, just waiting for a good chance. Man, if they had the speed upgrade, that would be it. Here comes the big force of... Nope. Maybe not. We're waiting for some more reinforcements coming in, but Snoot has got to be feeling amazing about himself. Supply is 94 to 56. Yeah, and he's taking his third behind this. 
Still no lair though. His gas has been so expended by trying to make all these bailings, which now could walk into the SCV line. I don't know if it's a good choice to go into the army, but it doesn't matter. They do land their hits. SCVs are having to be pulled. Oh, one baneling hit weakens so many SCVs. Oh, what Snoot would be saying, my life for another baneling. But it doesn't matter. There's no army left. And at the end of the day, Empire Happy gives the GG. Wow. Just wow. That's all I can say. What a play by Snoot. That was an impressive defense against that, that one base all in. I'm not sure... I want to say that the, the hero defenders were the spine crawlers built in the back and moved forward because they they had their full effect. They they're much easier to defend when you're um, when you're just burrowing them because they, it's not nearly as long as actually dropping them. Right. And and yeah, that that, is... that didn't allow happy any opportunity to, to really push in right about here as I highlight my screen. I know you can't see it, but all the viewers can. Uh, and they're, they're, he couldn't push in really past the choke point even while they were burrowing in because he would just pull up queens, pull up roaches, pull up zerglings. He would lose some in the process, sure. But the spine crawlers still get dropped. So absolutely fantastic play. Thank you, Cartesian, for joining me. We're going to be heading into some more games. Uh, I hope you all had fun in this one. And we'll see you in the next. See you guys later.